Well, it's going to be a beautiful evening to get outdoors, maybe enjoy some time with a few baby farm animals. Uh -huh. It is breeding season at Frying Pan Farm Park in Herndon, Virginia. It just Virginia. makes you Save really laugh. I, for some reason, it's yeah. just that juxtaposition of ah. cute little animals, frying pan, and a frying farm pan. park. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is Fairfax County's oldest working farm, by the way. A meteorologist, Caitlin McGrath, is there now. Uh, Caitlin, we saw you with the calf earlier. You had the lamb. What do you have this time? All right, we got a baby pig. You guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Oh, oh. look at that. Oh my goodness, I am joined now with Jay, the executive director here at Frying Pan Farm Park. And we have been showing off all these cute little babies all evening long. Talk about what else folks can expect when they come out to Frying Pan Farm Park. So Frying Pan Park is one of the um, special parks in our system. It's the only working farm. So your reaction to holding the baby pig is exactly why we do this, so that people can really experience where their food comes from, the farm life, um, what it was like to live here um, back in the day. Overall, we have 420 parks, parks in our system, all with different personalities, so we're very excited to show all of them um, off. But if you want to come back to Frying Pan Park, we're going to have a Juneteenth celebration on the Saturday before. Um, and I just want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for coming and our friends of Frying Pan Park because they really they own the animals. It's a, a little fact. Um, and so they do so much for our park system. So, And a lot of folks back at the station wondering how they got the name Frying Pan Farm Park. You know, a little suspicious with all the animals we have going on here, but it's actually because of a local stream? Correct. Frying Pan Tributary, which is right, which is close to here. Very cool. And this is such a beautiful area. And you said such a special, you know, part of Fairfax County. Talk about who takes care of all of this land and all of these animals. So um, the people behind us take care of all of our um, part. We have farmers. This is not a for show um, situation. We have farmers who get to go home and say they delivered baby pigs, um, maintenance workers. We have programmers who do the programming. We have naturalists um, who teach people about. Um, I'm taking it like I'm a professional. Go. I'm not a professional. I just okay, got peed fine. on twice oh, by two baby animals. <laughs> it's part of the job. Yes. Worth um, but, it to hold but we have some of the best staff in the business who uh, manage this park and all of our other parks, and they really love what it is that they do. But how could you not um, yeah. when you deal, get to deal with these guys? All right. Well, we're going to talk much more about all the baby animals and a couple other cool features that they have here at Frying Pan Farm Park. But of course, we do have to talk about the forecast as well. As you've been outside today, you've probably noticed it's a little bit crazy. We saw a really steady wind coming in from the northwest, still gusting 20, 30 miles per hour. And you will notice that wind as you're stepping outside this evening. It really doesn't diminish until a little bit later on tonight. But also in the wake of all of those strong storms we had this time yesterday, it's much more refreshing here. Check out these dew points. Dew points in the mid to upper 40s right now. This time yesterday, you're in the mid to upper 60s. Really soupy conditions. We swapped it out with really comfortable air. So any outdoor plants for this evening, it is going to be really nice. Temperatures will continue to fall through the 70s over the next several hours. Back down into the 60s by the time you're checking in with Topper around 11 o'clock tonight. Waking up to the 50s and sunshine. We are in for another really nice day on Wednesday. So overnight low temperatures a little bit cooler than we've been the past several Several evenings between about 48 and 58 degrees. Still seeing that breeze coming in from the northwest around 10 miles per hour. The wind shifts tomorrow. We'll start the day off with some sunshine. A breeze coming in from the southeast around 10 miles per hour. And then we'll start to filter in just a few clouds throughout the afternoon. But the rain it's really holds off until later tomorrow night. Temperatures really comfortable once again. A few degrees cooler than today in the mid to low 70s for many spots. So let's time out the rain as we look ahead towards tomorrow. We'll start off with sunshine, filter in just a few clouds for the second part of the day. But then notice this is around 1130 tomorrow night. Toppers are going to be tracking some rain, but we get through the evening commute. No worries. It's really not until around 9, 10 o'clock that rain starts to move in just east of 81. It overspreads the area overnight. And then check this out. By the time you wake up Thursday morning, this is 7 a.m. The rain is out of here. The sunshine is back and the humidity also returns. Thursday temperatures will be back in the mid 80s, a touch more humid. And then here comes summer Friday into Saturday. Temperatures back in the low 90s. Lots of sunshine. Saturday I do think looks mainly dry. Great news for our cleanup 
day. We hope you see it out there at one of our five locations across the DMV. But we could see an isolated storm or two throughout the afternoon. The better chance for rain looks to be on Sunday, mostly throughout the evening. A few showers and thunderstorms, some of which could be on the stronger side. Those are ahead of a cold front in the wake of that cold front. Temps just get cooler towards next week, back in the mid to low 70s. We are going to have much more coming up live from Frying Pan Farm Park here in Herndon, Virginia, coming up at 6.15. But for now, guys, we'll send things back to you. Girl, are you doing this with a straight face? Do you, the pig is like, help! So, he's good. Look, he's getting some milk now. He was just hungry. We all get a little angry when we're hungry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit, Caitlin. Wow. We'll see you soon. <laughs>